Hi, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, so in this video, I will be covering some of the new features in detail. So we had made a uh, video just talking about what these features will be when they're released. So majority of these features are now out. Uh, so in this video, I'll be covering those features in, in detail. So uh, I'll just quickly uh, walk you through what the position is currently. So this is in my Zerota account that I've taken a test trade. Uh, just to for this demo purposes. So what you see is I have a uh, 72-700 call, 72-500 put in Sensex expiry, which is expiring today. Um, and it's a 2020 and hedges, which has 30-30 quantity of 73-100, 72-100. We look at this in the portal as well, right? So look at the positions. So that's the same position, 30 quantity of hedges and 20 uh, for the sole position, right? So that's the MTM and that's reflecting in trade flow as well. Now, the important point to note here is I have a SL ad broker selected with 20%. So this 20% is basically for both limit orders, which is market protection orders, and what is the percentage of the price that it should put when you're putting an SL order ad broker. So when I check this, I'm telling the system that all my stop loss orders should be at the broker and should not be uh, rule based right so when i since i have this check you'll notice that i have a stop loss of uh, 29 and 60 right so let's go to our broker as well so what i'll do is i'll put this on the side here and this on the side so let's go to our expand this little bit here and look at orders so you'll see that the order is 29 and 60 and 34 70 is basically 20 percent of what is the trigger price? It's adding 20% and putting the price here. So if I have to, let's say, modify here, you'll see that this is the trigger price 29, and this is the actual price at which I'm saying if the trigger is, uh, if the price goes above 29, place a limit order, which is for 34.7. Okay. Let's just cancel this. So now the beauty for of this is, I, I can change this trigger here, right? So in a live trade, I am telling that my stop loss needs to be unchecked. When I uncheck this, that stop loss got scan gets cancelled. I can check this again. And if I refresh the orders list and the order, I can see that here. I can change the value right from here. I can say 30. If I refresh the order list, this has changed to 30 and 20% of that. Uh, I can make it 31, 32. Come here, refresh the order list and you can see this is 32. I can also do a trailing. So I can check a checkbox and say, right now the pivot is six rupees 15 paisa. If this goes to five rupees 15 paisa, my stop loss should trail by one point. Similarly here, you'll see that uh, my this is automatically changing. So right now on the screen, you'll see 56 here, but when I refresh my order, right here, it has changed to 51. So. It's like a trailing stop loss, but at the broker level. So, and I can uncheck this. Right? Now it will not trail. Or I can change this to a two-step process. So let's say if I make this 60 again, I tap out. I will come and refresh the order list. So see, yes, it is 60. Now I'll say for every two point, I want to trade. So from 23, if it goes to 21 and below, then this will change to 58. We'll see this in action if this goes to Right. So this has to go to below 21. If it goes below 21, this will automatically change to 58. Like you can see here, I'll update the orders list here, and this is 58. And same, similarly, the trigger price also. So trigger price changes accordingly, the limit price changes. So this is dynamic. I can just uncheck right away, and this is gone. Now, another feature that we, so another option that you have, you can use this along with, let's say, price check. So I can have a price check which says if the price goes above 7 uh, on the call and let's say 30 on the put, I want to risk off. So what will happen is if there's an existing SL order, if the price for this call goes above, so I'll put it for put as well and we'll do for put as let's say 23, 22.5. Right? So if it goes above 22.5, I'm risking off. So it has to go about 22.5 and I've shifted the position. You'll see here, I'll just refresh the order list. You'll see that this 
uh, this got cancelled basically let's just refresh this one more time so we had a put which got cancelled for 22700 yeah uh, sorry let me just refresh this yeah 20 uh, 70 to 500 right so let's look at 70 to 500 yeah this one right here 70 to 500 got cancelled then the buy order for 70 to 500 and then we shifted the position to a new one so where just move to 845 and the sl is not checked but you can always come and check it here if you want the sl again if i put it at 16 refresh the order list now i have a new sl of 16 let's make it 25 just to show and refresh the order list this is now 25 so that's the sl at broker uh, you can basically still have price check price difference or spot rules whenever you are shifting it will first remove the sl orders and then create square of the position then create a new position if it was a shifting logic right so let's try and do that manually as well so i'll basically let's just move this here and i will say right now i'm at five rupees 25 paisa i want to move this away to let's say half quantity right? so right now we've sold 20 i want to just move half of it so what you'll see here is let's let's show you here as well now the quantity has changed to 10 right so my sl quantity also got updated because i squared off 10 quantity and moved it to a new 70 to 800 now on 70 to 800 i can decide to put i can decide to ignore right so if since i put it it will show up if i uncheck this it will go up okay. so this is the stop loss at broker right so if i I have an option let's say i don't want stop losses on broker then i can just uncheck it will warn me it will remove all the stop losses order right? so i can say yes it has removed all the stop loss orders now the stop loss orders which are there here will are not at the exchange or at the broker but they are in the system so if now the price goes above 31 then it will fire a buy order or when the price on the put side goes above 25 then it will fire a buy order and I can show you that in the screen here also that all the orders have been cancelled. So that covers the section for stop loss orders. Uh, I can anytime come and check it. So if I check this now, whichever check boxes are checked, those stop losses will stop loss orders will now go and sit again. So I can see the open orders. I can always click on this to refresh the order book. Right now, I think my price check actually got triggered. So let me just make sure. Yeah. So that's why there's only one SL order now. I can just make this as 10 and make this as 10 and leave it in the system. Just go back and check. We'll just refresh the order book and then yes, we have the SL orders here. Okay. So this covers the section for stop loss at broker. Okay. Now there are a lot more enhancements that are coming in uh, that, that are part of this release. So the first one here, you'll see you have an option now to square off one fourth call, one fourth put, or put full one fourth quantity. Right? So of both call and put, similarly half, similarly all calls, all puts. Uh, when you're doing all the way here from all put, all call to one fourth, you it will consider exit hedges. Right? So there is this is the exit hedges checkbox. It will look at whether it has to exit hedges or not. If you select all sold, all buy, or all, right, you explicitly saying that I only want to sell all sold positions, I only want to exit all buy positions, or I want to exit all the positions, irrespective of my exit hedges is checked or not. And so uh, that that gives you full flexibility in order to exit some of your quantities, partial quantities, with or without hedges, along with a combination of exit hedges. Right? If you only want the sold positions to be exited, just leave this as all sold and then click on exit now. It will prompt you. I'll say no, I don't want to exit. It will go away. Right? Uh, moving on to general configuration. So default quantity. Right? So this is right now here. Uh, this was earlier part of next to individual and part of sold positions. But now general quantity works on baskets as well. So if I change this to 100, the basket quantity also updates. If I come here and change this to strangle all of this is 100 if i check this all this is 100 right. so that's the default quantity 
another feature that we've added is add hedges, right? So I can add up to 1500 point away, right, on Sensex. Uh, so let's show you this in action. Let's say I want to add a hedge which is 500 points away. When I check this, you'll see the buttons here are S plus B. The title when add with hedges, if I uncheck this, it will become add. Right? So let's square off this position and just exit these completely. And now if I want to add a position, let's say I want to take a straddle. Right? All I have to do is I'm looking at the straddle. I'll change the default quantity to, to let's say 20 because I don't have enough funds in this. I have around 80,000 for just for testing. Right? So I'm now saying that I want to sell a straddle. Uh, but when I'm selling this, I want to add hedges automatically. So if I click on S plus B, it is going to send 500 point away buy orders and then sell orders. So if you look at the order execution also, the buy orders are here and the sell orders here. Okay, I'll uncheck the price check. Okay. So that's how you can use add hedges. If I uncheck this, now it's only going to be a sell order. The buy, the hedges will not get added. I can always change this. I can say, okay, let me exit off. Right, I've exited off. Now I can say this, okay, I only want 200 points away and I will clear all the rules just to be sure. Yeah, and we'll do sell plus buy. This time the hedges will be 200 points away. So I'm at 70 to 600, the hedges at 70 to 800. Let's say I want to change this and say I want 300 points away. Now, if I click on sell plus buy, the order will go for 300 point away hedges. Right? So that's a single click. You are actually entering four legs right? with only telling how far you want the hedges to be. Right? Uh, exit hedges is the same as uh, previous. The only thing is exit hedges will apply when you are exiting partial quantities. If you're exiting full quantity, then you already have an option of all sold, all buy. That same applies on the PNL as well. So in PNL also, it is all sold, all buy, and I'll talk about higher value options in a minute. Right? So uh, if you only want to exit uh, sold positions, then keep all sold. So if, when your exit PNL is met, then only your sold positions will square off. Right? Uh, so that's the SLR broker the, which we've already covered. Right? So I can save all this and just say saved. Let's look at. Uh, what are the other options now on the grid? Right? So on the grid, you'll see that in the call rules, I can create a rule and say that, let's say when my 72,600 is greater than 45, I want to exit all the positions, right? So I can do that. I can basically say that exit all when LTP is greater than 45, right? For this 72,600, uh, I can, have a buy and sell like usual, or I can decide to have a rule which is on a specific strike LTP. I can say when it is less than, so somebody who's doing a buying and they want to exit, they can say if it's less than a certain value, I want to just exit all my puts or all my calls. Right? So based on whichever rule you have. So you have full flexibility here. Same as in the put rule. And the most importantly on the spot, and so you can say if the spot is greater than a certain value. So I can basically say if the spot is above 73,000, then I want to exit all my calls. That's it. Right? So now all my calls will exit if the spot breaches 73,000. I can do the same for less than and say if it is less than 72,000, then exit all my puts. So I have two rules, right? you can call them range breakout, um, um, support and resistance, right? So you can have your rules defined here and you can say, okay, if the spot reaches above a certain level, I want to exit half quantity, full quantity, all sold or full for all the positions, right? So that's on the spot rules. You can also do the same on combined premiums. So let's say this is the combined premium right now. If the combined premium is greater than 120, I want to take an entry where I can sell 20 quantity or I can just say exit all my positions. This is five, I, whatever logic you have. Right? So you can choose to 
put that here as well in the combined rule section for aesthetics. Uh, we've made it easier to search, right? So if you basically, uh, you can type it here. And if you are saying bioset, I can basically say eight, two, right? So uh, this is basically 74. I'm just typing, I'm using the keyboard. I can change this to 74, five, and it will auto select. So th that way you can basically say, you try to make it easier as well. On the basket, we've shown right, that on the eight legs, you can all, you can, you wanted a default quantity to decide, uh, impl basically apply across here also. So that is here, right? it all changes to 90. Uh, another new tab that we've introduced is for people who trade in spreads, right, or ratios. So uh, what you see here is you creating, you can create a ratio and you can see the points here. So let's say if I have one to three ratio where I'm selling 90, buying 90 quantity of 72,600 and selling 270 quantity, which is one is to three ratio, how many points am I getting? You can do that on the call and on the put. So on a single click, you can basically place an order. I can even do rule-based entry in as well. So I can basically say if the price is, uh, let's say, so-and-so, then take an entry. If the, if the points are four uh, points are, let's say, if the point, the combined premium points becomes seven, then exit, right? And then you can have a target. So this is purely rule-based entry exit or single click entry exit into ratios as well. Uh, moving down below, you'll see in the PNL, you have now these three options, right? Additional options, all by default means even the hedges will square off. Sold will only square off the sold positions and buy will square off only the buy positions. The higher value option that we've introduced now is basically, uh, you see a current value here. So a current value, if I have multiple calls and multiple puts, it will show the current value of calls and puts. Now, when you have a higher value option, what you're telling the system is, if my value of combined calls is higher, then exit the calls. If the value of combined puts is higher, then exit the puts. This will apply when your target or um, exit criteria is met. Right? So, especially, sorry, so do only during exit criteria because you want to exit the leg where, let's say, if the market was falling, your put value, the value is calculated based on the LTP and the quantity. Right? So, uh, if there is a spike and you want to exit only puts during a downward move, it will exit those puts if the value of the, those puts is higher than the value of the calls. Right? So, and all calls will exit or all puts will exit. Right? It's not just that, okay, only one single leg will exit. Whichever direction, right? say whichever option type, which is call or a put has a higher value, that full set will exit, all calls or all puts. Right? So this is uh, all higher value options. Right? So that's the option that you have now here. Uh, going down below, right? So we cover trailing, we covered add with hedges. Right? You can uh, hide the values if your grid is too thick, right? So uh, I can just show and hide if I don't want the expander. Right? Uh, what if I have? So let me just refresh my open orders. There are no open orders, right? So sometimes, obviously, uh, it's a very dynamic system. If you see an open order which you think is not valid, just click on open order. It will refresh the list. Let me put a SL of 80 and 80 just to be safe. Okay. So, and I'm going to put a trailing of one. Okay. So, uh, you also have now trailing SLs on buy leg. Right? So, uh, you can have a stop loss and a trailing stop loss on the buy side of your position. Uh, just know that the SLs will not be at the broker. The stop losses at broker applies only on the sold leg. Right? It is not on the buy positions. Uh, so that's on this. Let me just see if there's anything else that I need to talk about. Yeah, that's that's all that we've introduced. Okay, yeah, last. That some users had requested to hide the PNL. So if you click on the PNL, it will hide. If you click on the current PNL again, it will show back. Right. So you have an option to just hide if you are somebody who doesn't want to look at the PNL. And if you want to look at the PNL again, just click on the current PNL and it will come back again. Right? And I can see the ROI here. Like it shows me, okay, I'm making a 1.79% on the capital deployed and available is so-and-so. Okay? And as you can see, the I put in 8080, it is now at 76 and 
it is trailing at 75 let's just check our order book here as well and if i'll go to orders i see yes it's 73 now 87 80 yes it's in sync with what we have here so it is getting reflected on the fly right yeah 79 73 perfect so that's all the features that we have for you today right? uh, if you have any comments suggestions please do let us know uh, we try to incorporate a lot of features requests that were made to us there are still a few more items that we are working on for example uh, there are four things that are we are working on in parallel giving uh, more options here in the limit order percentage uh, all the way up to 100% uh, the second is the pnl graph graphical representation of your pnl uh, automatically shifting of hedges when you shift your position right It'll be an option to shift your hedges on the fly when you shift your position uh, and uh, I think that yeah that that's and the last one is on the spot on the synthetic future right? so all your rules are on some on spot currently but we want to give an option on synthetic future as well right? so this covers a uh, majority of features that are either coming out if you haven't received it yet maybe there are some challenges that we're facing with the broker integration that's why they're not yet out but uh, they will most likely be sorted out uh, as early as possible. Most of the users already have this and uh, if it's not there by Monday, it's only because that we have some challenges with the brokers that we are working with. Uh, so that's all for the video. I hope you had a good trading day and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.